good afternoon, evening, happy dinner time. And my teeth still look okay. It's okay. Hey, get your pigeon box toques on. It's still cold as shit out. What are we doing? We still doing basket training again? Absolutely. Absolutely. Half hour before dinner, I load them back up, scrape the boxes out. Ricky Cruz is in the house. <laughs> boxes are scraped out. We're ready for dinner. How does it work? Well, hey, we use the basket technique. We're getting them used to going through those bobs, so that's okay. I'm going to set the camera, up, and we're going to go from there. We'll set the camera at a good angle here again today. You can watch the little guys come through. Okay. Ian, what's going on, Easy E? I can't see the comments, so hold on if you've tuned in. Sit back, enjoy the show. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to let them in and let the good times roll. All right, guys, let's have some dinner. Come on. Well, tonight you're going to make asses of me. That's all right. Come on, Black Wolf. Let's go, buddy. Let's get busy living here. Come on, through the bobs. Start living, Wolf. I'm going to have to change your name to Weak Wolf in a minute. There's the first crate in. Come on, let's wake up. There you go. Next one's in. Good, good, good. I'm doing good. Yep. I am doing good. Let's see the comments. Good, good, good. Marion, oh, Wolfie, Emily, Ian, Frank, Icorn, E I E I O. We got the newbies in here. Oh. Henry Radar, what's going on, my brother? Remember, ladies and gentlemen, make yourself your beverage of your choice. I know what my favorite beverage is. We let the kids eat their dinner. Not as hungry. Some of them are hungrier than others. I got one little simpleton here that didn't figure this all out. Come on, simpleton. Come on. There you go. Melda Rodriguez wants to join. I think sometimes people just hit those buttons because every time I try and join people in, they don't want to. We're going to get their water off from again. They had a nice full breakfast today. I let them eat for a good hour, hour and a half. So I don't think everybody's overly hungry. They might want a drink. Again, about a half hour till dark. But you're seeing how it goes.
Hello, everyone. Yes, hello, Emily. Thanks for tuning in. Robert Daughtry. Who else is on here that I can't see? Chris, Yusuf, Yusuf. Hello, everyone. Hello, Henry. Hello, hello, hello. We're doing all right still. Knock on wood. Not a dead one yet. Time to get our H2O, H2O, H2O. We're going to put the water in, so let's just give me a second. Whoops. Oh, wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I'm still going the wrong way. I was never very good at video games, and you can see why. <laughs> oh, yo. Give these guys a nice drink of the guzzler. Come on. Look out, kidlets. The white wolf looks like he ain't going to make it. Are we going to start living wolfy or what? Oh, there we go. Go on in, get your drink. Wolfie, there's your white on the right. Come on, you better start rooting for him. I tell you, he sure he's sure whiny for me. What are you trying to do? You trying to drink from the door? Come on, man. You're whittling away now. Get into the water. This is what we call bring me survival of the fittest. Come on, get your head in that drinker and drink, baby. I hate playing God, but man, man, oh man, the the black wolf, he's not, he's not, he's not drinking yet. He's going to figure it out here. They're cleaning it up. Now we'll go into the other room here in a sec. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put, put the camera in here. You guys can see. I'm going to take the other section over their water for a minute. The other section's learning, trying to figure out where the water is. $200 to the first, or 200 feathers elite dollars to the first bird that doesn't have about that. You guys watch, you guys play the games. Bring the men to the battle. Bring the old strong ones. Don't bring the little babies because the little babies, the hill is harder, the hill is higher, the hill is steeper. As me and Love Manager Richard says, leave them at your house and let them die with you first. That's the best thing. When they're 70 days old, 80 days old, 90 days old, 100 days old, they start getting stronger. When we talk to the breeders in Europe about sending the youngsters, we say five, six, seven, eight, nine months old. I don't want nothing at three months. 
I don't want it. The mountain is too steep. But what do I know, right? But we'll watch and see. That's why we do all the photos. Go on. FeathersElitePigeonAuctions.com. The link will be in the description. You take a look at all the babies, all the ages. You look. You do the research. Mother Nature is going to play God. That's how the game works. And another thing, ladies and gentlemen. Try not to baby your babies. Try not to baby. I know that seems hard, but try not to. Ricky Cruz's chocolate. Look at your little chocolate. Look at those silvers. Those silvers, they love the bottom perches. They love them. They own them. Cool night here. Nice and chilly. We can go up. We can go in. You can see them all. We'll let them pick and clean up. Tomorrow will be another day for them. Learning how to basket, playing around. you imagine putting a baby that's not of age against this? What do you see? I'm only speaking on behalf of the pigeons, my friends. I tell you, I personally think most of the time if your babies are still squeaking, they sure as hell ain't ready to go to battle like this. Maybe in your own loft, yes. But this is one hell of a battle. This is the ultimate battle. This is winning races right here. Birds taking their perches, owning their spots. This is it all right here. The top birds will take the top boxes. The weak ones will go to the bottom. This is going to be one of my picks right here. Mikey's lost. Well, it is what it is. You seeing them up front. Let's turn. Let's me put the spotlight on them. Oh, look at that. Look when we put the bright lights on. Anyways, guys are going to move past you here. They're still got to get used to me and the camera, but that's okay. They're going to learn that up. Let's look at the other room. The other room.
couple of these got to be moved over. Tomorrow, I think you guys will figure out where the water is. Today, I don't think any one of you has visited the water. That's okay. Just bring the camera, start slowly getting them used to it. Sometimes I think the flash makes it worse, the light. But there you have it. Dinner time in Pioneer Village. Are we the greatest race in the world? Absolutely not. What makes a great race? Think about it. Seeing all those inches, all those bricks. How many of them how many of us do it? None. Very few. There's very few that are willing to go and get their ass chewed out. But me? I don't mind. It's okay. Because this isn't my fault, this isn't the bird's fault. It's us working together as a team. Now tomorrow, once it gets mild, we're gonna lime wash those boxes there, which is okay. We're away to the races. We've got to add in our last roll of perches in the last few sections. But I think we're pretty good. I think we're good to go. I think dinner time was a success again. The hungry ones ate. The ones who didn't, didn't. They'll get breakfast again tomorrow. Again, the show will start around 12.30 tomorrow. Starting next week, birds are going to get hallway time and Avery time, this group here. And we move from there. So, it's been a fun dinner. I had my liver and onions. It was very nice. Still not sure if I overly like liver and onions, but hey. It is what it is. Always put your HP sauce on, as I say. Another dinner time. Still no dead ones. I don't expect to see that for another week, if there is any. We hope there's not, but it is what it is. Robert Daughtry, everyone, thanks for tuning in. No more questions, Ian. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, oh, looking good. Just going through one more time to see. Nice birds. Yes, yes. Hey, oh, 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 wait, nice birds. Mandy Scar, yeah, birds are looking good. Callie, love liver and onions. Who doesn't love liver and onions? Well, I like it. Sometimes I like it more than others, but it's just one of those things. Anyways, we're going to let these kids finish off what they're doing before they go to bed. Last one come down for the last few drinks. We'll darken these windows once it gets dark out. And uh, pretty much that's it. Game continues. Still no dead ones. Congratulations to all, and especially Mike Vanderjack. He's passed his record, which is good. These guys want to move here. so. On that note, thanks for flying with me, guys. I got to go. Bye.